For the first time ever on Promo Wars, it's an all-girls panel. Who will be the best smack talker? Find out now, because it is time for Promo Wars. Smack Talk Showdown is the only party game where smack talking is not only encouraged, it's required. A wrestling card game where players play as wacky wrestling characters. The person with the best promo wins the game. And let's face it, you don't want to be mid. You want the millions and millions to smell what you're cooking as you lay it all out on the line. And wrestle with words. You can purchase the game at smacktalkshowdown.com. And guess what? Use the promo code DENISE and you will get $5 off your entire order. Link is in the description box below. But of course, before we get to the game, it's time for our warm-up challenge. Sam, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Gonna cut a killer promo. So today's warm-up challenge, you are going to be running down the entire card that I'm going to give you right now as fast okay. as you possibly can. Hollywood Pro Wrestling on May 18th, Madonna versus Britney Spears in a steel cage match, Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B in a last man woman standing match, Taylor Swift and Katy Perry versus Olivia Rodrigo and Billie Eilish. 11.40 yes. is the time <laughs> to <laughs> beat. Unfair. This is just so unfair. Sam has experience that I don't have in this regard. <laughs> She's coming in at 11.4 in a warm up. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You just heard from the other challenger, Kate of Fightful. Kate, uh, thank you so much for coming on here to do this show. Uh, how do you feel about your promo skills, where you're at on that regard? I felt better about them more than 20 seconds ago. I felt better about them, <laughs> but I think it's fun. I've, Lord knows I've watched enough wrestling that I should have been able to pick up a fundamental or two. So you're going to have the same challenge as Sam. You now know the time to beat. Hollywood Pro Wrestling on May 18th. Madonna versus Britney Spears in a steel cage match. Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B in a last woman standing match. Taylor Swift and Katy Perry versus Olivia Rodrigo and Billie Eilish. That is oh very God. close. Very close. Buzzer beater. <laughs> Um, as I explained to you guys earlier how this is all going to work, we're going to have these two rounds. In the first round, it is going to be Kate versus Sam, and I'm going to be the judge. Uh, Kate, we'll start with you. Your pro wrestler's name is Captain Clown. <laughs> I am delighted right. and insulted, but fantastic. Sam. The cards have given you Mighty Soldier. The segment for both of you guys. So this is the event information. You guys are in Manila, Philippines, and it is the Clash of Styles. One wrestler is a boxer. The other is an MMA fighter. Both, both must prove why their fighting style is superior. The producer decides which wrestler is the boxer and which is the MMA fighter. All right, Sam, you're the boxer. Kate, okay. you're the MMA fighter. Okay, so to clarify, I'm Captain Clown, the MMA fighter? Correct. And and Sam is the mighty soldier who's a boxer. Now for okay. the smack. This is Sam's task. This is exclusive to Sam and what she'll have to do. The YMCA. The audience must perform and sing the YMCA during the current promo. So while you're doing your promo, I will be singing the YMCA to kind of distract you a little bit. Kate. Okay, so... I can already, you're already laughing. All right. Captain Clown, the MMA fighter, what, am, what, am, what do I got now? So this one has been drawn in a past game, and it is brilliant. It's the lap dance one. The speaker must give their opponent a lap dance. So Kate, unfortunately, Sam is not there with you, so you will have to give an imaginary lap dance while cutting your promo. What did I do to you? What did I do to you, Denise? To do I'm dying right now. Like, that is pretty that? hard. Sam? Okay, Mighty Soldier up. will go first. Start. Mighty Soldier here in Manila, Philippines, and I'm ready to take out anybody who may come in my way. It doesn't matter if you do MMA because I'm a boxer and I'm going to slug you like a kangaroo. I'm going to go one. I'm going to go two. I'm going to do three. I'm going to do four. And I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to knock you out in the first round of the competition. It doesn't matter if you've done MMA. It doesn't matter if you've been training all your life for this because me, I have been waiting to wrestle and do this stuff in Manila, Philippines the whole entire I'm, I'm ready Why for you. Are I'm you ready, Captain Clown? Y M C A for the smack down in Manila. 
I love it, Sam. You were like very focused. I don't know. I took on like a Sergeant Slaughter voice because I felt like that was appropriate. Yeah, I was. Oh, nailed it on that end. Here we go. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. What kind of question is that? All right. And go. You might be a mighty soldier, but I am Captain Clown and I out rank you you say you're ready for me you say you're gonna take me out in the first round well you can't even handle these moves and neither Ooh. can the people of the philippines there is no way they are ready for what's in store when captain clown comes around all right you think that being a boxer gives you some sort of advantage well i'm an mma lap dancer captain and clown i can do it all there is nothing that you can throw my way that i'm not ready for there is nothing that the people of the sexy philippines are prepared for you're going down all righty and there you go that is a wrap for round one you can breathe kate amazing. you survived you got the moves Ooh, in that was the longest 45 seconds of my life that was so good, Kate. I loved it. I was entertained the whole time. Thank you. I tried. I tried. All right. So here we go. Um, in terms of analysis, I will start with Sam. Sam, I think that I love that you brought like the uh, the, the so soldier type of thing. You're like really like change the voice, but the graspiness. You were very, very focused on your opponent. You didn't even mention anything about me throwing singing the YMCA. So you didn't even acknowledge it. So I was like, okay, she is focused. She is like going for it um and then the only criticism that i had about this one is i actually think you should have shut me up for doing the ymca and been Ooh. like you know what shut up in your ymca or whatever yeah, and then just fun. uh i think you finished just a little bit too soon so that was the other only criticism uh kate i feel you had the cards stacked against you a whole lot with I the did. lap dance and the clown it just was not falling in line for you and the mma stuff however i thought you weaved it in very very well uh the lap dance was very uh was very classy You're it was seduced. in a trashy lap dance i was like wow i was like hey she you had the little like cowgirl thing going it was, uh, it was basically just... genuine genuine pony was like what was going on in my head for that i guess <laughs> I think my only criticism of your promo list, I would have actually liked a naughtier lap dance. Wow. I'm you know what? Wrong. Considering everything that was thrown my way, the fact that I didn't shake it enough is something I'll take. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so I think with that being said, I'm going with Kate for the winner of round one. Congratulations, Kate. And so justifiably so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Though I do have to question the analysis of someone who had to do the YMCA while taking in a promo. That is a tough gig. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I only know that the same part. YMCA. I don't know the rest of the words for that oh, song. So. No, but it's young man. <laughs> no idea can hum it can't <laughs> sing it <laughs> yeah exactly okay so for this next round it's gonna be myself versus kate with sam as the judge all right so let me switch the screens here all right here shuffle we go. them cards girl we are okay <laughs> all right i'm gonna start with kate this time and see how your cards go with your name so your name is going to be oh ravishing lover. Oh, it's the, it was the lap dance. The cards were like we gotta we gotta keep that energy going. <laughs> All right, my name is going to be oh god the acrobatic monster. <laughs> See, that's called karma. There and you go, acrobatic, you know acrobatic <laughs> monster. All right, the segment is going to be. This one is called Ready, Willing, and Angle. We are going to be in Athens, Greece. One wrestler is an Olympic champion in amateur wrestling and is being honored as a national hero. Their opponent believes their pro wrestling talent should be honored instead. Um, so I guess, Sam, you, you pick the person who you think should be the, uh, the Olympic champion in amateur wrestling who's being honored as a national hero. Let's make it you, Denise. All right, here we go. So I'm going to be the wrestler... <laughs> The Olympic champion in amateur wrestling who is being honored as a national hero. Kate, that means you believe that your pro wrestling talent should be honored instead. Now for the smack card. Kate, the speaker <laughs> must talk about their tremendous amount of, of swag. All right. And then my smack will be the speaker must tell their opponent the who, what, where, when, 
and why of their upcoming beatdown. So it seems like I have to get really, oh. um, really specific here. Athens, Greece, home of the Olympics. And we have an Olympian here. The acrobatic monster is here. The acrobatic monster is no match for the ravishing lover, okay? Your Olympic days are behind you. Your Olympic days are in the past. Now, nobody knows what you are. Acrobatic, a monster, pick a lane, man. I don't know which one you are, but I gotta say, it doesn't matter what you bring in the ring, okay? My skills are right there. Just because I'm the ravishing lover, don't sleep on my abilities. I have a tremendous amount of swag in the ring, out of the ring. You will never touch the ravishing lover. Yes. I know that all you people here in Greece love your little ravishing lover, but let's be real. The ravishing lover has no skills. They don't even know how to love. But me, on the other hand, I'm the national hero because I am skilled tremendously. I am not only a great wrestler, a great amateur wrestler, and I'm being honored and representing everybody here, but also I am all also a monster when it comes to acrobats i can do it all i can out wrestle the ravishing lover i can out acrobat the ravishing lover the ravishing lover doesn't know what it takes to represent you <laughs> the beautiful over, people over the over beautiful time. she's <laughs> impassioned she's impassioned she's disqualified <laughs> i win <laughs> damn i didn't have a beautiful ending all right Sam analysis. <laughs> All right. So um, on Kate's end, I like that right off the gate, you told us who the promo is about. Uh, you and the acrobatic monster. I, I do wish that there would have been a little more talk about your specific swag because you saved that for the end more so than anything. Um, but I like that you instilled doubt as you were the first one in the promo to cut the promo, right? So assuming this wrestler is hearing you, you're kind of instilling doubt into the op opponent, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, okay, so Denise, I really liked how even though you were like, I don't even know what I'm going to say first, you came in strong, you looked confident, you got all of your points across. Um, I don't know if I got the how of it, but I, I checked off every single other one. Um, I think the only, uh, like critique per se I would give is it didn't seem like wrapped at the end with a bow per se, but you kept going and you did it. And sometimes when you go over time, you say sorry later, because if it's good stuff, it's good stuff. So there you go. <laughs> also, I did forget the how I, I completely forgot. I was like, who, what, when, where forgot the how. <laughs> That's why I had to write down what my three things were. Cause I was like, this one's a loaded one. You're like, what the hell is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Sam. Who's the winner? Oh, okay. This is hard, but I think that just based on what I've seen, I'm going to have to go with Kate today. Woo! Congratulations, Kate. You are now the current <laughs> Smack Talk Showdown champion. Oh yeah. I am honored. I will carry the title proudly. Captain Clown loves you and she's here for you. <laughs> Uh, Kate, we'll start with you. The champion, where can people find you? Sure, you can find me captaining and clowning around on Twitter at Miss Kate Fave on TikTok there as well. And Kate's Instagrams on Instagram. Also, Fightful YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. The Excite Wrestling Commentary Desk and Wednesdays at the Mark Order Podcast. Uh, you guys can find me on social media at Sam Laterna on Instagram and Twitter. On YouTube, you can check out my uh, interview channel, Wrestle T. And, you know, if you're in the market for a good pro wrestling show, I would say catch me every Thursday, Major League Wrestling, 8 p.m., Pro Wrestling TV, and on cable, be in sports. Uh, so, yeah, that's where you can find me as of right now. Well, that is a wrap for our Thanksgiving edition of Promo Wars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with a December Christmas version. So make sure that you guys come in for that in December. And you can also watch past episodes by clicking on the Promo Wars playlist here on my YouTube channel. Bye, everyone.